Welcome to another Reigns High School Wildcat Legends broadcast. Sports, events, and what it means to be a mighty Wildcat. Hey Wildcats, welcome to another legendary broadcast. What we have in store for you this week is some sports interviews, which includes football and volleyball. Next up, we have a new teacher. Right after that, we have a band interview to see what's going on in that realm of Reigns High School. And we're going to finish this all up with an interview for Coach Timmons for basketball. Let's get it started with sports. Hey Wildcats, I'm Carson Wildman, and today I'm standing here with Coach Weber, and we're going to talk a little bit about football. So, overall, how do you think the season is going? Uh, the season's good. Uh, kids are uh, coming around a little bit. You know, we started off 3-0, and we dropped the last two to number four and number five ranked teams in the state, uh, Mount Vernon and Pottsburg, respectively. And they're good teams, but at the same time, you know, we have to understand that uh, we've got a lot of things to build on, <laughs> but we've got to get better at a lot of things, too, so... Awesome. After that loss to Pottsburg, what do you think we need to build on? Well, defensively, I can only speak for defense and some defensive coordinator, but defensively, we uh, we need to fly to the ball a little bit more. Uh, Technique-wise, we need to tackle a little bit better. And um, really, all it comes down to is, is, is emotions and a little bit hard-driven. So uh, I think we were in a good spot sometimes. You know, we had a defensive touchdown. Uh, early in the game, we were up a little bit, and then some bad things happened. We gave us some big touchdowns, and and um, we kind of got our heads down a little bit. So emotionally, we kind of lost uh, lost where we were. So awesome. And so you're talking about this emotional battle. Yeah. Do you think that we can twist this to our advantage, being so emotional and heart driven? Yeah, yeah, I think so. We talked to the kids today about that, and uh, you know, it's kind of like. It's kind of like getting in the street brawl. You get you get punched in the face. And what are you going to do about it? You going to stand up and react, or you going to shut down? So I think the kids, you know, talking up to them today, they're they're excited about the how week. Uh, we can write a lot of things there, and, and they're they're excited about being having an opportunity to to really show who they are again and step back into the limelight. Awesome! I can't wait to see what we do for the rest of the season. But for now, that's all I have for you, Coach. Okay, I appreciate it. Thanks, Coach. Awesome. Now that we got football wrapped up, let's move on to volleyball. See what's happening over there. Hey Wildcats, I'm Carson Wallman and today I'm with uh, Chris Lynn McGinty and we're going to talk a little bit about volleyball. So quickly, you played against Chisholm. Yes. Y'all won against Chisholm. Yes. How many sets did that take? We went into four this game. We played good. We could have done better, but we that was our off week. We had a bye on Tuesday and we still did good and won. So. Awesome. Great. And so far, you y'all only lost one game, correct? 16-1, and one, I believe. Or 16-1. and one. Nice. So where do you see this season taking y'all? I really hope we go far in playoffs, and I think if we keep working hard, we're a young team, but we work very well together, and we're hoping to beat Prairie Land. That's our only loss. Awesome. And so for this interview, I have a little specialty question that I don't ask other volleyball players. Mm -hmm. Because your circumstances are different, what's it like bouncing from a volleyball game, oh. going to cheerlead at Football Friday Night? Well, it is very stressful trying to get ready, but other than that, it's fun and very exciting. Awesome. That's all I have for you. Thank you. Great. Next up, let's take a look at this week's special guest, our new teacher, Miss McKinney. Hey Wildcats, I'm Carson Wellman and today I'm standing here with Ms. McKinney and we're going to ask her a couple questions about her joining Reigns. So, quickly tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, sure, I've been a teacher for a while um, and one thing that's interesting about me is that I've taught in a lot of different settings, uh, some suburban, some urban. This is by far the most rural setting in which I have ever taught, so I'm learning a lot this year. Awesome. And uh, how's this year going for you, since you're learning so much? Uh, <laughs> it's a, I know there's a, you have to adapt a little bit, but how do you think it's yes. going? Um, I'm loving it in many ways. I will say that teaching during a pandemic is probably not most people's idea of a picnic. Of course. It's a little challenging, especially in a district that um, is missing a lot of the resources that would have made it a lot easier, like laptops for everybody yeah. and internet, good internet. Um, I live in Hunt County and I often complain about the internet, but boy, Rains County is a whole different story, isn't it? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, but we, I, I enjoy, I love my students. One thing that I notice about my students is they're all very respectful. I never have a problem with people calling me names when they're off task and I have to redirect their behavior, they are always very nice about it. Awesome. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Moving right along, let's look at Rance High School's drum major, Ty Jacobs. Hey Wildcats, I'm Carson Wellman with Broadcast Legends, and today we're standing with our very own drum major, Ty. And so, we have uh, competitions coming up here in a few short weeks. What are your feelings? Uh, I think we're. I think we'll be prepared by then. Uh, we, I think we can do pretty well. At Mini it will be our first contest. That's in uh, just a few weeks. I don't know the exact date off the top of my head. Awesome. And so, what's uh, what's it like going out there every Friday night and doing what a drum major does? Uh, it's it's great. I love it. I love being able to conduct the band. It's uh, I get nervous every time, but it, it's it's a great experience. I really enjoy it. Um, it's great being able to just watch the band happen rather than being in it being able to watch it happen and see how it turns out that's that's probably my favorite part about it awesome and that, you're uh, what you're saying you're saying that you you watch them and so every friday night you you see them playing you see them working their butts off mm -hmm. how have you seen them develop over this season uh we've, we've improved a lot we st the season started off a little rough because you know COVID, we didn't have band camp mm -hmm. and we've we've come a long way even since like last friday this Every Friday is considerably better than the one before it, and as long as that continues, I think we're going to do really well. Awesome. That makes me really happy to hear that. That's all the time I have for you today, though. Okay. Thank awesome. You. All right, for our last story of the day, let's go take a look at Coach Timmons and our varsity basketball team. Hey, Wildcats. I'm Carson Wellman with Wildcat Legends, and today we're sitting here with Coach Timmons, and we're going to see a little bit about basketball. So when, uh, will, when will the season start? Um, the actual, our first game for boys will be uh, November 20th, but we'll start practice here in a couple of weeks. October 28th is when practice will start. Awesome. And so we obviously lost a couple of big seniors last year. How do you think that's going to affect this season? Um, believe it or not, losing uh, big key players isn't necessarily bad because what ends up happening for us is those kids, um, kids tend to get a bigger role. Yeah. So and they and they tend to flourish in that bigger role because they all want bigger roles. So now there's no relying on a a, a kid like a bra. Um, yeah. Now we have kids that are going to step up, and we have more kids that are going to step up because they're trying to fill his shoes. So we'll be able. We, we'll probably be um, at at the same level at the least. Um, at the least. And yeah, at the very least, we should be because we're going to have a couple of guys. We're going to have Amari who's going to step up and play big for us, and KJ who's going to step up and play big for us. Be really athletic and, and be able to go play hard defense for us like Bri did. Um, Drake will still be there, and he's he's a scorer. And the good thing about when I first got here was I moved up those freshmen. Um, uh, Adi and um, Bobby Dale and Corey Foster and now they're in year three so the yeah. expectations of them are going to be a lot higher so we should be rolling. Should awesome. Be pretty good. You, you said uh, practice is starting here shortly. Have you seen this team play together? Yeah. Uh, Well yes because we were basically together all last year. Yeah. So um, even though we lost uh, we, we lost some, some key players some key kids They've been together for now three years. So yes, we we have. Um, what hurt us though was not being able to get that summer in because yeah. of because of COVID. And for me, the summer is huge because we get in thirty more games over the summer, and we actually go and play in big tournaments, and we keep them together, and we go to colleges and do those things, and that's their bonding time. Yeah. And so we lost out on the bonding time, but. I think we're going to be good because a lot of those kids that I named off, they're playing football this year, so they're getting that in right now. Um, so, uh, yes, yes, I have. And, and you know, um, right now they're playing football together. So, yeah, yeah. I'm watching the team <laughs> play awesome. together right now. Well, that's all the time I have for you today. Okay. This is all wonderful information. I can't wait to get the season uh, started. I, I, I can't wait to see y'all there. Make sure every all kids, y'all pick up a schedule. We love and we we thrive off of having that student section. Of course. We want y'all to be there. We want y'all to be loud. We want y'all to continue doing everything you're doing. We love it. So Awesome. Come on. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. All right, Wildcats, to mix things up a little bit, we have a little solo speech from Chief Brimer herself. Let's see what she has to say. Hi, I'm Chief Brimer, and I'm going to explain to you about officer interaction. All students are required to now take a class called Police Officer Interaction. 
They have to have it before graduation, and all it is is telling the students how to interact with police officers during traffic stops. It's mainly about the safety of the drivers, the passengers, and the officers, and how to keep us safe while conducting traffic stops. Hello again, and I just want to thank all of y'all for watching, students and teachers and peers alike. But I would like to add this one thing. Please leave a like on our video, subscribe, and share it with your friends. That's all I have for you today.